Hi everybody and thanks for joining me and I uh, just wanted to cover something new that's going on this week with Google. Uh, in Google Drive, if you're part of the early adopter program for Google Team Drives, you'll probably notice that you now have access to Team Drives. For those of you that don't know what this is yet, it's a feature that's going to be rolled out in the near future that allows teams to create a shared space to share files. Now, how is this different from Google Drive? The main way that it's different is that once you create a team drive, no one is necessarily the sole owner of the drive. It means the drive and its contents and the documents in the drive are owned by the team. So if for some reason someone leaves the district or leaves the school where you're working, then the files won't be lost when that person's account is shut down. The files are all part of a team folder or a team drive. So the way to create a team drive is to go to drive.google.com and once you have access, you'll notice that team drive shows up just beneath my drive. And if you click on team drives, you'll be taken to this space where you can create your first team drive. It says it's a collaborative space to share uh, documents. So you click create team drive and it asks you to name your team drive. So I'm gonna call this my team and click create. Now you're going to notice this looks a little bit different than it does when you just create a folder in Drive. It, it's got its own space, it's got its own banner artwork that you can add to the top. If you want to change the artwork on your team drive, all you have to do is click on the drop down menu next to your team name and click change theme. From here you can choose from any of the preset themes that they have available. You'll notice that some of these are the same themes that you'll see in other products like Google Classroom or Google Forms. So I'm going to choose one here and I'll click select and I'll reload the page and you can see that it's added my banner to the top and now I'm ready to add people to my team. So if I want to add team members all I have to do is click on the add members button at the top and I can type in the addresses of team members that I want to add. And you can send them a message letting them know about the new team drive that you've created. So I'm going to throw a little message on here. So I've got my message and then I'll click send. Now of course I can add other members later or I can manage my team just by going to the top and clicking the drop down menu and clicking manage members. And I can choose what level of access the members have. And of course to make it a truly collaborative space you want to leave full access on but you may have some situations where you want them to have edit access or view access only. So you can do that. So if you have a team that manages the core group um, and the folder and the files uh, within that group, but you want the entire site to have access, then you can add the site group email address. For instance, if you've got a Google group and it's for the entire site or the entire district, then you can add that email address and then give them view access only. So if you need to remove a member, you can also remove a member. And of course, when you're done, you just click done. Now, if you want to add files, it's pretty simple. You just go to the top while you're in your team drive and click new. And you do have some of the same features that you would have in Google Drive. You have the ability to create folders, upload files or upload folders, or create documents within this space. You, you see here that you do not have the ability to create a Google site within a team drive. Um, that's just not an option at this time and I don't know if that's going to be added in the near future or not, but it's not there at this time. So once you create a doc, um, it looks and it feels the same as any other document. And of course, I'm gonna name my document really quick before I share it. Uh, but you'll notice that when you click the share button, it is a little bit different. Uh, the share button doesn't look the same as it does in Drive. It knows it's part of a shared team drive. And so you can give access to members outside of your team drive if you want to. And you can also manage who has access. So I'm going to close that. As you start to use these team drives, remember uh, they're a great space if you have uh, a, an organization that needs to share specific files. Um, if you have a club uh, that you're a sponsor of um, that you want to add registration forms or documents or policies to that club, um, you can use a team drive for that. And the great thing about it is 
is by being a collaborative space. If any one person were to uh, leave the organization, the files will not be lost. They'll still be part of the team drive that's available to the other members. So if you have any questions about using team drives, let me know. And thanks for joining me.